Hey, Nicole Mashburn again, and we're going to discuss epithelial tissues. So you should know by now that you have four types of tissues, epithelial, connective, muscle, and nervous. So we're going to focus on epithelial tissue in this video, and I'm going to break this up into two videos. So the first one will be an introduction. The second one will be more specific. All right, when we talk about epithelial tissue, we have two main uh, types of epithelium. And the first one are your covering and lining epithelia. So these are found on external and internal surfaces. So imagine the uh, outside layer of your skin is epithelial tissue. The inside of your mouth, what you can see, that's a type of epithelial tissue. The tissue that lines your intestines, that's a type of epithelial tissue. So these cover and line things. The second type is the glandular epithelia. And these are uh, epithelial tissues that form glands and they secrete things like saliva, like hormones. Those are just some examples and we'll do more specifics in my second video. Now the generalized function of epithelia are pa uh, can be uh, memorized by using the word passives uh, for protection. They make a barrier. So your skin is a barrier for your body. The inside of your mouth uh, protects uh, the underlying surfaces of your mouth uh, as protection. Uh, absorption. Your epithelial layers allow you to absorb things like nutrients and gases. So think of your small intestines for nutrients, your lungs for gases. You can secrete things. So epithelial tissues allow you to secrete hormones. They allow you to secrete mucuses uh, like uh, uh, saliva, sweat, uh, gastric juices. They allow you to excrete waste products like urea. Uh, your kidneys uh, use an epithelial layer for filtration to filter your blood and turn it into urine and sensory reception uh, like pain touch and pressure so these are all the things that epithelial tissues can do again in my next video we'll talk more specifically about where you find epithelial tissues and what their specific function is in those parts of the body there's five characteristics of epithelial tissue uh, the first one is polarity that means they have two sides that differ, and you have an apical side and a basal side. If you were to think of a pyramid, you have an apex and the base. So the apical side is the free side, okay? It faces either the outside, the exterior, or it faces the cavity, okay? So it's the free side. It's exposed to uh, the, uh, the, the, the space inside of a cavity. Or if you had a tube, like a blood vessel or a small intestine, it would be the side that faces the inside of the tube where the blood or the food would go. The basal side is the attached side, so it's what connects uh, the epithelial layer to your body. Epithelial tissue has specialized contacts that we call tight junctions and desmosomes, and so these are places where the uh, cells that form the tissue are tightly bound to each other, and we'll talk a little bit later about what, those, uh, what the job of those are but they do have specialized contacts to keep uh, the sheets of cells continuous. So you need to be able to hold uh, your epithelial layers together so that they form a, a, a continuous sheet so that your skin's continuous, so the inside of your mouth is continuous. They're supported by connective tissues. So imagine this is the skin, okay? And this would be your connective tissue. And so this would be your muscle layer down here. So connective tissue connects the epithelial layer to the layer below, like, for example, muscle. So it's supported by connective tissue. So this would be your apical side, this would be your basal side, and the basal side is in con contact with the connective tissue. Uh, epithelial tissues are avascular. So if you see the letter A, that means none or none. So Epithelial tissues have no blood vessels. They're avascular. That means they have to get all of the stuff that they need to get from blood from the blood vessels in the connective tissue. So you'll have blood vessels in your connective tissue, and they're close enough to the epithelial layer to allow for exchange. Epithelial tissues are also highly regenerative. That means they undergo mitosis. So if you damage them, they will repair themselves very quickly. And this is important because not all tissues can do that. We'll talk about some tissues like nervous tissue that doesn't have the capability to repair itself. But epithelial tissue can. So if you cut yourself, your skin, your epidermis will 
repair itself. The inside of your mouth will repair itself if you cut, if you bite your cheek, bite the inside of your cheek. All right, and the last thing I'm going to cover in this video is how to name epithelial tissues. Epithelial tissues have three names, okay? So the last word, it says it says two, but you actually have three. The last word is epithelia, okay? So you always know the last part's epithelia. We've got to figure out what part one and part two are. The first word comes from the layers. How many layers of cells make up the tissue? If it's one layer, we say simple. If it's two or more, we say stratified. Okay, so this is a simple epithelium, and this is a stratified epithelium. Okay, the second word comes from the shape. Is it flat? We use the word squamous. Is it square? We say cuboidal. Is it tall and skinny? We say columnar. So this one would be simple squamous, and this one would be stratified squamous. Okay? One layer of flat cells, two or more layers of flat cells. All right, so let's practice. What if we had three layer, three or one layer, sorry, one layer of square cells? Okay, so one layer of square cells. That would be simple cuboidal. I'm having to use my mouse because my pen broke. Sorry about that. What if you had one layer of tall, skinny cells? Simple columnar. Okay. What if you had two layers of square cells? Stratified cuboidal. Okay. And that's the way you do it. And you'll get more practice in the lab video as well. So look at the shape of the cell, how many layers of cells there are, and that will tell you how to name the, the tissue. Okay? All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.